Okay, so today we're going to do something called an assembly. And this is by far the most challenging uh, task that we've tried. And when you make an assembly, uh, you're really uh, working on something that is at the level that an experienced 3D designer or even a mechanical engineer might do. Uh, making an assembly uh, is a very valuable tool for a lot of manufacturing industries um, because you can create a model of something see if it would work before you actually build it and uh, that's going to save a lot of time and money so at the end of today's project what you see on the screen is what you should um, create and that's a chassis with two wheels and an axle going through the wheel and you can see that we can move the axle back and forth and uh, manipulate this uh, but this is what it should look like uh, when you get done today so for now we're going to close this and um, we're going to open up one of your uh, previously created parts let's start with the wheel and usually we've been working down here in what's called the part studio but today we're making an assembly so click on assembly and when you open up assembly you will see that at the top of the screen there's this um, option to insert so we're going to click on insert and the first thing we're going to insert is the part that we have open right now the wheel and once it pops up, you can move it around wherever you want it and click again and it's going to be there. So we're going to need more than one wheel. I'm going to see if this will work for us. I'm going to right click on it. And right now I can't copy this, so we'll wait on that. Uh, we're going to bring in some other parts. So click on other documents and created by me. And we need the axle. And so bring in the axle and um, other documents again created by me and the chassis and sometimes this will pop up if this does just click on create a version in chassis call it chassis just like it was I'm not sure why this happens click create and there's part one so I'll click on it and now we have our chassis. So I'm going to check this and accept that we have everything we want. And we need to get this to look like what I showed you at the beginning of the tutorial. So let's zoom out a little bit. And the first thing I'd like to do is get the chassis to sit flat. So if I click on any of the parts, I'm going to click on the chassis right now, you'll see these tools pop up. The arrows are easy. If I move one of the arrows, it'll push the part back and forth. If I pick on this arrow, move it uh, back and forth in that direction, and this is going to move it up and down. Um, so that's pretty easy to do. These circles are a little bit more confusing they're going to rotate the object and we want this to sit flat so let's try this one see what it does yeah that's going to get to sit flat for us i think let's see what this one would do that one would move it around in that plane um, but that's not really what we need but let's just check this last one and you can see that one will move it around in that plane uh, just remember that those are there for you and notice what happens sometimes you can barely see the one circle because it had gotten kind of squeezed and I think that was the one I needed so I'm going to click on this sometimes they're hard to see there should always always be three of them great now I've got the um, axis or the chassis sitting flat for us and that's what we want so hopefully you can do that get that chassis sitting flat but now we want this wheel to be lined up with the hole in the wheel and the hole in the chassis. So this isn't too hard to do. 
I'm going to click on, uh, let's see, I think the Revolute Mate up here will work. Click on this, and once I click on the Revolute Mate, I need to tell it what two things we want to get lined up. And we want this hole lined up with the hole in the uh, wheel, which I can't see right now. So I'm going to X out of this. I'm going to move the chassis down a little bit so that I can see the hole in the wheel. Let's try this again. There's that revolute mate right there. Click on it. I want that hole to line up with that hole. So I'll click on it and it's there. However, sometimes it doesn't put it exactly like we want it and right now I don't know if you can see this uh, but the wheel isn't on the outside of the car it's like right in the car and there are probably a lot of ways to fix this but I think if I flip the primary axis over here it moves it to the outside so fine I think that is uh, is the way we want this. Great. Um, let's look at this from the top. Fine. Let's and turn it on its side again. Good. I'm going to check this and accept it. And um, we need another wheel. So I think I can right click on this wheel. And up here we see copy part one. Let's see if we hit this if it'll make us another one doesn't make it yet so I'm going to right click over in the white space and say paste part one and there's my other or uh, my second wheel and probably the easiest way to get that wheel on this side of uh, the car so we have two wheels go to my revolute mate click and say this hole goes on that hole and I'm gonna let's turn it on its side to see if it's right and it looks like it's um, it's in the right spot but it's like I, before it's right in, it's inside the car instead of outside the car so let's try flip primary access great and it moved it to the outside of the car so that's pretty much what we want so I'm gonna accept that and if we spin this around we can see yeah, it's kind of what we're looking for. Okay, so the last thing, we want the axle to go into the hole that we made for the axle. And this time, we want this guy, the slider mate. And I think you'll see why in a minute. But if we click the slider mate, and then we say, yep, we want the axle to go in that hole I click there and voila I think it's there let's turn it around before we accept it yeah it is got the axle in the hole great I'm gonna accept this and because we chose this slider tool I'm gonna look at it from this angle if I click on the axle now and I move it back and forth I can drag the axle to where we want to be and that's it if you get done with this you can try to put the motor holder and the motor on the front end of the car or on the other end of the car uh, using the same um, kinds of uh, tools so if you can figure that out on your own before I make the next tutorial good luck